Um, do you see the Tesla? I do, yes. Yes. Okay, so I just thought I'd just a quick, quick five minute video here. I just want to check in on you what you did with this trade. Um, I took it out at uh, 275. Okay, great. So, how much did you end up? It was almost 100% turnaround. I don't know what what exactly. What did you actually risk, and what did you where did you get out? Did you get out? I mean, close to that, or? Well, not for me really. I made a profit of 218.78, uh -huh. and the cost was 500. We, I don't. Where did you buy it? What did you pay for it? My price was just a second. It should have been around four something. Uh, it was five. I swear $5. you 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 end up buying like at, always at the high and like selling at the low. <laughs> like, I I swear, like, quite, it like. might have touched like five for like five minutes, like two minutes literally. Like I looked at the options chain. I mean. But either way, you made money. So that, I mean, that was good enough. It was more than 50% turnaround. Um, I just I just wanted to do a quick video and made sure you you did this right. But I mean, obviously if you had risked a thousand, you know, you would have made probably six, 700 bucks. Yes, and if I'd entered at the right price, yes. Well, I mean, either way, if you would risk more, I'm saying you would have made more. Well, yes, if, I, if I'd risked a thousand, I would have made 400 in the same situation, yes. So, you know, next time, you you had almost killed it. You didn't kill it. I'm glad you didn't kill it. It was only over 50% for a small, small period of time. I'm glad you didn't kill it. No, no, I didn't, I didn't intend killing it. I, I did intend holding it. I wasn't intending to kill it. I know, but I thought your money management rule is now kill it at 50%, or is it not? No. I, you well, know. this is a problem. It I is a problem, it. and that's why I'm talking to you for a couple minutes, because this worked out. And I'm really glad it worked out for you, but you really yeah. didn't follow the rule that you set for yourself. And I, so I this know. is a problem. I, I know. I understand. But yeah. take the spy as a classic example. I killed that yesterday. 60% down. I killed it. It turned... It did everything it should have done, and it went down today. I would have been, I would have been okay today, but I killed it. Okay, so then, so then that's so, so. But the, you just have to make up your mind: Are you going to kill trades at around the half loss, like whether it's fifty percent or fifty-two and a half or fifty-nine or sixty? I mean, that's negligible. I'm just saying you can't let these things run completely against you if that's not your plan. And this did not run completely against you. See, sometimes you look at a chart, I'm trying to load this up now, and you you just either, you this is, a, just listen to what I'm saying here. Sometimes you look at something and you're so in love with it. You're so in love with it that you will let it run, 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 run against you and you're so in love with it for whatever reason. And then sometimes you'll add more because you're so in love with it and risk more when you shouldn't do it. And then sometimes you're, you're, you, you're not in love with something that isn't doing anything wrong, but you're not in love with it at all, and you kill it, and that's what you did with this. The, the situations where, with the knowledge, other knowledge that I have, it tells me that I don't want to be killing a position, such as the spiders yesterday, uh, and now I'm going to continue down. But you killed it yesterday for what reason? Then give me the reason you killed it. I killed it because you've been telling me to cut them sooner. So I did. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you either do that with every trade or don't do that with every trade. I'm giving the choice to you. I'm saying either way you have to be consistent. And see, right here with these two examples, you were not. You were not yeah, that's consistent. A problem. I know it's I a have problem. a problem in, in, this, in being consistent here. So because what are you going to do about it? There's nothing consistent in the market, is there? But if that has nothing to do with your choices. Uh, to be honest with you, I think the market's been very consistent as far as the plays that we do for gaps. There's, there's been the, the gaps are consistent. You're just looking at the overall market and trying to time things with the market. But if you've got a good gap, or if you've got a weak stock, if you've got a strong stock, you don't need the market to go with it. And you know that anyways. You feel better about that. That's true. Sometimes the market helps a long or short, depending where it's going. But the market's been a challenging read this year, and it's been very volatile. And you're not going to get enough from that. And you can't use the market. And if you're trying to use the market for every overnight trade that you're taking in the options, no, then you're going to have a crappy no. year. 
No, no, I'm not trying to use it as a gang. Well, then lead. don't worry about I, it. I'm just using it to trade, <laughs> trade a position. That's it. No, only if Individual you're doing the market. Control. Not looking at other stocks at all with it. I mean, where do you see it going at the moment? Because at the moment, it looks very undecided, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look undecided at all to me. But that's not the point. You should still... Well, we haven't dropped today, have we? We're what does that have to do with anything? We, we really don't even look like we're moving. We're, so that doesn't mean that we're strong. No, that doesn't. But we're in an option. We have time against us. So at the same time... We have to take that into consideration. It doesn't matter. You're not in the sideways. trade. It doesn't matter. You killed it. It's too late. This is over. You're done. You killed it. It's over. The trade is over. But yeah, but I'm in the queues as well. So yeah, I mean, I mean but the point I'm trying to make is here, though, your money management should be consistent for taking the profits or your money management and or it should be consistent for if the if the trade is down what are you going to do and you're not consistent so this was two two trades between spy and tesla that you did not manage consistently this is an ongoing problem for you what are you going to do about it but i don't understand what you mean i didn't manage i yes my entry you didn't tesla. kill you know you didn't Could kill tesla better. when it was down 60 percent. i'm glad you didn't this trade worked out but you did yes. kill the spy when it was down 60 percent. so therefore you're not consistent so, but what do I do? Because Decide. obviously they both worked. They both worked. So then what should you have? So then you, you tell me. The, the answer is clear. Unless you, you say across the board, I'm going to hold them until they go bust. Or you say, I'm going to look at each individual situation. No, you're not good enough to do that. And that's the problem. You think you are. And that's why you're screwing up. And every time you look at something, you have conviction, lose conviction, have conviction, lose conviction, take too much for the trade, take too much risk, add to the trades, kill the trades. You're not good enough to do that. I'm barely good enough to do that. I've been doing this for 10 years. You would make more money if you stopped thinking that you have to be the god of all. You can predict every single thing that's going to happen every single second. You take the amount of risk that you take and you either ride that puppy out, and I don't have any problem with you doing that, or you decide I can't suffer being down this much, I'd rather take more size, and it's a crapshoot then. Don't you understand? If you, if you would take more size then you would, the ones that would go immediately, immediately, like, like Apple or whatever, you would make more and you'd love that. But then if you take size like that and you're going to kill them, you know, right around that 50%, then you've got to stick with that because otherwise you're going to lose more. So you have to decide. I don't, I don't care what you do, but I'm saying you have to be consistent and you're not. And you're not good enough to do what you're saying because your mind is screwed up right now. And I've been trying to tell you that for months. Don't make it so hard. Just decide. Decide you're going to kill everyone around 50% or you're not. It's, I, don't, I don't think you can fail That's, if you just pick a side yes. and stay with it. Huh? Yes, I can see what you're saying. Kill it 50%. But I'm not saying do that. Hold law, everyone then. It's sub law that I will kill the position and it will turn on the hour. I, I'm not saying, I'm but I'm not saying 50%. to kill it then. I think that if you really are struggling with this and hold everyone, hold everyone. Either the ones that work are going to no, work or the ones that go bust go bust. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this position where I am now, I have to be picky. I cannot just say I'm going to let them all run because there are some. Uh, Spotify, I mean, that was one. I mean, it's but it doesn't out. matter. Spotify, you screwed up. That trade, if you let it ran, was positive. You messed well, this uh, trade up. It was hardly up. positive for many. It, it was hardly positive. What do you mean hardly positive? The trade was positive. What do you mean hardly? It's either positive or not positive. It's either <laughs> up your money or your down money. It's either red or it's green. Uh, what do you mean hardly positive? There's no hardly. This is where it goes back to the old, old days where you have to make a certain amount of money. If you're if you're in a position where you have to book green, 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 why are you complaining if you risk $500 and this is up 250 or whatever it was? I don't even know. I don't even know what you risked on it, but you screwed this up. You took the trade, you killed it, then it went on to work, then you retook it. You lost double in this, and I can't even believe you brought this up. This was 100% your fault. Can't you see that? Yes, I can see that. That's a, that's a bad example. But no, this trade didn't today. go on to be a huge winner. That's true. That's absolutely right. But to say that it was bust is wrong. It was green. Now, whether whether you got out of it or not, I mean, what you when you're killing the trade, you can determine what you're doing with trades also when you're up. You don't have to hold every one forever if you're up. Say you're up at a trade. 
and spot you're down it down it rallies this is exactly how this trade played out and I'm just I just want to go over this really quickly and then I, I don't have a lot of time today this rallied I called the trade it was it was down it was down it was down no no no. it was over here it was down trade was down gap rallied some people killed it some people held on to it you were down more than 50% on this day you killed it I no, think what? this day no, yeah, yeah so you killed held it. it another one I, held I it. know but that's the point I'm trying to make so anyways you killed it then it fell red then it fell into itself and then here's the day it was positive into here and it had it looked great it looked amazing it looked great but i'm saying you could have gotten out of some of this half the trade here positive whatever it was who cares and then you could have held the rest for a bigger move because by the time you realize into the close here that this puppy isn't going to break down any more than 148 and this got through the strike okay so it got through the strike it got to the first target again we talked about this in the thing sometimes i'll call the target well the target might be 20 percent turnaround it might be 50 percent turnaround it might be 200 percent turnaround i don't know so you can't you don't know because you don't if this had gone the day the first day it would have been way more than that at the strike don't you understand so you yes. don't you don't know okay yes. so the point is though when it gets to the target you can't ignore it you could have gotten out of some of the position there whatever it was it was profit you you erred totally in this because you retook the trade on this day here which was a gap up and there was no reason to do that you only did it because i said it was lower and it is lower look but there this was a poor entry here and you messed this up anyways but the point is though that you don't have to hold every one a hundred percent up you could say i'm gonna hold every trade till they get positive then once they start to get positive and go to the first number whatever day that happens to be the first day the second day a week into the trade you then look at the market then you look at the trade then you look at the time of the day then you look at how many days you have left and you say you know what i'm gonna get out of this with half of my position now to get green and you also take off half your risk and then you let the rest ride for a bigger target if it goes it goes if it doesn't you don't end up down in the trade yes what's wrong with doing that no there's there's nothing wrong with doing that i mean providing obviously you've got a sufficient move on the first move to cut it no the it doesn't matter you're not listening to what i'm saying you completely ignore what i said you don't you didn't even hear what i just said what if tesla did this this was out to the 25th you see i was actually out of the room at the time it fell like a brick but i mean i, I was watching it i glanced at my phone and saw it and then came back to my but i mean what if this had happened next wednesday not today what if it had happened next wednesday not today and well, it would have gotten to the strike gotten through the strike it would have been worth less do you would. know what i'm saying like would you not yes. have gotten out of it then i mean do you know what i'm saying like no that would be crazy so it's <laughs> you know you have to you're being you're being strict with things that you shouldn't be and not strict with things that you should not be. I don't know if that makes any sense. It does to a point, yes. You're not being um, strict with your money management, but then you're being strict with the numbers and saying, come hell or high water, this has got to get to the number and be a certain percentage or come hell or high water, I'm not getting out of it. You could take some out and you could let the rest ride and you could let the, every trade try to work. And a lot of them are working, but you've got to stop doing ads. You've got to stop killing them and retaking them. That's dangerous. And I've been calling more trades. So I think lower your expectation that everyone's going to be huge like Apple because not everyone will, but it doesn't mean it's not money. If you made 280 bucks on this today, take it. Take it and run to the bank. It's Friday. That's great. Is it slower? Probably, but it's $280. You can use the money for that and then the money you risk no, in this to do no, the, a new no, trade. No, $200. Yes, or whatever. 200. 200 280 197 and 50 cents it doesn't matter it's the point it's profit <laughs> well listen that's why i took it out i okay, saw it hit 274 it bounced a little bit i thought no i'm not leaving that because yes it probably will fall next week on monday but then it will bounce i'm sure it will after a day like today well it, i don't think it's going to but it doesn't matter the point is it was a good solid trade yes it, it was it was okay no, it was a good solid trade. It's a good solid trade. You have to look at these trades and say, this was a good solid trade. I'm glad I hung on to it. But I'm saying to you, you killed the spy. 
and the spy think, didn't do anything wrong either and was down as much as this and you killed that and that would that's going to be fine too because i think the market falls next week i mean but you know bottom line is that you need to be consistent with your money management which is your risk and how long you're holding the trades i don't have a problem with you holding everyone in this crazy market maybe you should maybe everybody should but that doesn't mean you're going to hold everyone to a big target because some of them go to bigger targets and some of them don't. And when they're up money, like even Spot was, you don't want to suffer through the trade, have it be up, and then it doesn't go to a big number and then you could have made money. Whether it was 200, 150, 350, whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, but I did think that Spot was moving further. So did I. I mean, so did I, but it didn't. Yeah. It didn't. It but, didn't. But what, so. what do you do? You, you know, you just literally. But it fall, is. It's going you to fall look. The profit by fifty dollars. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Take it out at fifty dollars when you're risking five hundred. That is, I know. I really, I can't talk for an hour today. But honestly, I'm just yes. going to say one more quick, quick thing. That is a huge problem for you. It's a problem for you with the day trades. It's a problem for you with the options trades. You look at the money in dollars and cents. And I do. You, and you do, but you did that I before do. when you were risking and you were up thousands of dollars I, when you were here and you made poor decisions then, so you have no excuse. You made poor decisions when you're at 50 bucks and you made poor decisions when you're at four, five, six, seven Melissa, grand in options I trades. It, I rate it to, the, to a loss. If I if I have a loss, I take a full loss or a 50% loss. Right, okay. okay. If I want $50, $50 in comparison with a loss, it just doesn't equate. I'll be taking don't more losses. Don't you see how? It. But don't you see? That's how you've gotten yourself into this situation. You don't care enough. You don't. You didn't care enough when you were up a lot, and now you don't care enough when you're up a little. When are you going to care? I do care. That now you're not acting I like you care. Two hundred today in real life. I know. To that's why I wanted to talk to you to make sure that you darn well did. Which I'm very proud of you for this. Maybe you're making some progress here. But Thank but it, but the way that you talk though you're not because you still you there's like a you you don't care enough because you almost say well screw it screw it it's fifty you do this in the trading room you say oh it's only a hundred bucks oh it's only eighty bucks oh I'm only up. No. I mean come on no no no, no you do you I write it in the that. room if I copy and paste it every day right oh I only made hundred fifty dollars oh I only made seventy five dollars oh I only made this you're only taking a couple hundred shares right now so that's what it is. That's what it is. I, I am, I am, but at the end of the day, I have to equate to what my costs are, and I need to be on the right side. This is why I can only take one trade. The other day, I killed that trade early because there was a possibility it was going to go through. Yes, I did lose X amount, but at the same time, I couldn't then take another trade, which you eyed up on the screen, which you were going to do. In the end, it didn't work anyway, but at the same time, for me, I couldn't do the second trade. But so you're missing that again. Yeah. That's an excuse. It's an excuse. It's an excuse in general. Whenever you're up a lot, when you were trading more size, it wasn't enough. Now that you're trading less size, it's still not enough. I don't know. You, if you have a million dollars in the bank, will it be enough? No. Then probably not. I, you know, no. I mean, no. Oh. No, no, that's not right. It, it would, it would be. I'm just looking at the proportion. One winner over a loss. That's all I'm looking at. You're not looking at it right. You have to be more consistent with the winners, and you're messing up trades. Spot was a winning yes. trade. Spot was a winning trade, and you messed it up. You like you took two losses in a trade that was green. I don't care how much it was green. That trade was green. You did it twice and took two losses in it for nothing. And you know what? The spy is going to go on to be green, and you killed that trade too. So you know, I mean, and you did. You, you in fact, you screwed up. I think three or four market trades I've called. So, you know, I mean, you are screwing up trades yourself by making decisions on what you think you know. You're not good enough to know that stuff. Go with the gap. Stop reading too much into it. Get up in the morning. Rate the gap. So, rate the Tesla so, gap. See if it rates good. If it rates good and hold the areas where I taught you, stay with the trade. Everyone in the room was panicking about this. I bet more than half the people killed this sucker. I bet more oh, than I half the people killed this sucker. About that. Huh? I wasn't panicking at all. No, I, no, I wasn't. I was willing to hold that. Definitely. You no, know, people were panicking yesterday at this point in the room. It was in the morning when the stock was green. It was yesterday here. Yeah, it was it's morning. going to be, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's got to be. It's been. I mean, look at it. It's been doing nothing. It only made a fraction new high yesterday, but that was nothing, was it, on this stock? 
No, so, you, no, but I'm saying you're making, so you made a good decision on this one, but you made a bad decision on the SPY. You're making this, you should just rate the gap and go with it and have your money management. You're overcomplicating. You're not good enough to make those decisions based on intuition, which is what you're trying to do. And I'm right. telling you, you got to have money management rules that are not black and white where it's 50% or 58. It just can't be. You're going to hold everyone or not hold everyone. It has to be somewhat consistent with that and the risk. And so as far as that goes, you're not being consistent and you have to do it. You just can't make decisions based on intuition looking at the charts. You're not good enough. And that's no slight on you. It's it's just lack of experience. And I don't think really anyone should be doing that. I think you get up and you look at the gap and you rate the gap. And you know it shouldn't go over a certain number. Like what would be the number that shouldn't go over? And I'd say it's not going to work. If this stock would have rallied up to 315, 320, it would have said kill the trade. But it was nowhere near that. So there are certain levels where you say, well, this is clearly not working or whatever the case may be. But either way, that wasn't the case here. It's not the case with the market. If you're going to hold every trade to 100%, great. If you're going to kill every trade around 50%, great. But you're not consistent with what you're doing and stop trying to make decisions based on intuition. If you get to that point five years from now where you can do it, great. But you won't until you stop making mistakes. And your mistakes are that you're reading too much into things or you're getting scared about the money. And I honestly don't think you have enough respect for money for whatever amount that it is. And I think that was a problem with you when you're up a lot. And I think it's a problem with you now when you're taking less size. And until you resolve that problem. I, I do think, respect the money. I do. No, you don't. You say, well, it was only $50. I was up in spots. So instead of making 50, you lost, you lost what? Six, seven, 800 in there? Cause you did it twice. What did you lose in spot? I don't know. I don't know, but it well, was more than $50. It's gone. I, it's, gone. It's, a, it's a done trade. I've written it off, but I mean, you know, I mean, this last time it was three hundred dollars. So yeah. You would have you decided to lose money in this rather than make fifty dollars. That's crazy. I decided That's crazy. that I like the setup on the chart, and it was going to continue, and I was willing to risk the amount that I risked. Okay, that's, then you should have done the, the original trade. No, but you should have done the original trade. Then why did you kill the original trade? The original trade would have been profitable more than fifty bucks on the second of the third day down here. So you because, did it at a terrible place. So you because, were only ever up 50 yeah, because you're up a little bit of money into the second day in here on 5.9. You, you said to me, to cut them early. So I cut it early. No, I said choose a side, 50% or 100%. You I said know, you were going to do 50%. It didn't work, did it? It failed. It failed because it then continued. Oh it went in the right direction. No, you are not being consistent. If you're going to kill so it. So how do I be, how am I going to be consistent then in that scenario when it pulls back? And then went then then I've got the task then of re-entering again. Well, you shouldn't have re-entered it. I already reviewed this. There was no re-entry here at all. Not one. You see, you could have looked at it and said, ah, it hit the top of that green bar. It hit that and then it turned. And then it fell. The rest that of the day. is nothing that I taught you. No, nothing. but it's resistance, isn't it? If you think that shorting resistance is going to make you money consistently no, in the market, you're Looney no. Tune. You know that's no. not true. No, I don't. I'm not saying that. Then, then why do you think it reset me. up? Hmm? I'm talking about me in a position. I'm in a position where it's it's just gone over. It's over the 50% mark. Mm -hmm. And it goes over, and it just does not go over that bar. Because once it goes over that bar, there's a stronger possibility that I don't even continue. know what bar you're talking about. You killed the trade the first day you took it. I don't know what you're talking the about. Third. It was on the third. You killed on the trade this day. So then what's the your point? Fourth, it went the red bar went it went to the What the top. red bar? The red bar was on the fourth. You killed the trade and took the trade in the third. You wouldn't have known any of that. Yes. Yes. But what I'm trying to say is I killed the trade when it pulled back on the fourth, but it stopped at the top of the bar, the previous day's bar. Okay, first things first. Did you kill the trade on 5-3 or 5-4? Oh, the, the following day, it must have been the... Um, cracky, which am I, what dates am I looking at here? Uh, yeah, it was the 4th. It was the following day. I took it on the previous day. I then... It then pulled in on the following day because I wouldn't kill it on the same day. That's when there was the problem. I have no clue what you're saying. You oh, sorry. No, 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 I don't know. I'm getting it wrong myself. Bloody hell. No, I, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah well, it's been a long day. Um, it was on the, yeah, I did take it on the same day. It pulled back on the same day. 
and then killed it on the same day. It went. I know, I know. That's what she did. It okay. Went all the day, top of the bra, stopped, turned, and then fell. And then, what's your point? My point is that if I held it, <laughs> if I held it a little bit longer, uh-huh. but this is the problem that I have, isn't it? Where I'm, I'm shackled to this fifty percent mark. No, it, you could you could hold over. every trade to one hundred percent if you want, but then you're doing it with every train. Do it if you yes. want to. Yes, but there's a problem, isn't there? No. If you what? get more losers than than. Every trade I call is not a loser, so I don't know what you're worried about. How many trades are positive that you have gotten out of negative? Here's one example. You took two losses in a trade that was positive. That's. I'm going to go back and look at the exact, if you'd done it the exact day and held it, not entered the day that you did where you were only up 50 bucks that one dinky little day it ran down on the night, but if you'd done the trade, original trade, and held it and got out, at least some in the first drop what the price would have been. Anyways, the point is that it doesn't matter what you do. I'm calling plenty of positive trades. And some of them even run to big numbers. And Tesla might too. But because of the way that you're trading lately, I'm glad that you got out. The point is it doesn't matter. I call plenty of positive trades. You are messing them up. The yes, you're probably right. Huh? My I entry am is right. Be better. My entry definitely could be better. Like Walmart today, I took the entry and then it pulled all the way back. I could have got a better, much better entry than I did. So what? This is, has not really gone yet. You're, again, you're looking, you're squeezing like every squeezy, it's, squeezy no. penny out of this. This is the difference no. between the high no. and the low on the option chain and this is negligible yeah. today. The trade hasn't really gone yet. You enter it today. You got to give it a chance to work. It's going to continue to drop since the failure in the earnings yesterday. This stock gap down. Whether you bought it today and you could have paid less by another 30, 40, 50 cents, it's negligible. It doesn't matter. Don't you see? It doesn't matter. I I look at, also look at the potential of something retracing within to itself. I mean, yesterday's banner was enormous. So there's going to be some kind of pullback. It hasn't done that Wrong. today. Wrong. That is nothing I taught you. I nothing. Know it's not. Again, but I taught I'm, you. Huh? I know, but it comes into the equation of things. That's why you're because screwing up. You're not focusing back, on what I taught it, you. This is why your your head, this is this resistance crap on spot. And now you, I'm telling you right now, how much do you want to bet? I bet you a hundred bucks. I bet you a, a, a dinner at the Porter House here in New York next time you're in town. This will not retrace. This isn't going to go anywhere into the bar from yesterday. I bet you a dinner at Porter House. It ain't going to happen. Right. All right then. You don't think this is going to pull back on? No. 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 It drops no. again because there's a good. It's dropping it right now. It's dead as a doornail. It has no life. It's done. Well, that would be very good, and that, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I, 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 I do. I mean, I think it would be great. The problem. There's no problem at all. The problem is you don't do what I taught you, and I have I no I idea did. Did. why I you entry, do all these other things. Huh? My entries could be better, definitely. I understand that, but if I get in at a, at a more expensive price, then if I'm cutting it at fifty percent, or if you're holding out, you are then sweating, aren't you? More. Why are you sweating if you risk five hundred dollars and you're okay with that? Oh, you shouldn't yes. be sweating. If you That's risk ten it. grand and you can't afford it, then no. you'd be sweating. You shouldn't no. be sweating. No, no, I'm talking about fifty percent here. If you, if I'm holding, then don't trade, do it. Then hold every figure. trade hundred percent. Change, change what you're doing. Huh? There's no problem, is there? If I'm holding it, if I'm holding it for the hundred percent, yeah, it doesn't matter where it goes, does it? It can bounce that's around. That's right. And then, then that's right. Just let the trade play out. Watch it every day. Get out when it starts to go. But fifty percent, as I've said before, is a problem because then if don't I get do it, change what you're doing. Number, then it can pull it. back. I mean, oh my god! If you say the word "pull back" one more time, I'm gonna scream bloody murder. You're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Spot is a great example of this, an amazing example of this. And by the way, the read on that hat on this chart is playing out exactly as planned, although it's taking a little bit longer yeah. here to go. Yeah, but it's just a week late. That's the problem. Yeah, but I mean, the trade actually still was positive, but you just didn't get out of it right because of the fact that you took it and killed it and took it and killed it. But either way, this probably really just wasn't out long enough. But the point, though, Eve, even still, is that you're doing stuff that I didn't taught you. You, you want to continue to do no, that? No, Go ahead. No, but... no, no, I am doing things that you taught me. No, I you're am. doing them in combination. But I, I do have other information, which is in my head, and it's impossible to delete it. It is totally Well, I impossible. think you should, because it's screwing you up, because Walmart isn't pulling back. 
And if you are going to do something dumb with this trade and screw this one up, then you're going to have another loss just like you did with the spot. I'm not. I'm under your direction with this. Simple as that. You can't pick and choose the ones that say, well, I think I'll follow it on this one, but I won't follow it on the next three. I mean, that's, that's lack of consistency too. I, I got to go, but I think you got to decide if you're not okay with 50% to do 100% for that you're doing it on every one, every one. And it doesn't mean you're holding every trade to 100% turnaround either. It means that you're holding every trade to you start to go positive and then you're timing it with the market. How much time no, you have left in the option, Melissa, time of the day of the bar. Melissa, Melissa, yet again, how much is positive? 10 bucks. Did you bucks, just listen to what bucks, I said? Bucks. Did you just hear what, what I said? I'm risking 500. I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to use, there is, your, is, it's not black and white. Say Tesla started to drop. Here's where we were in the morning. So the day started out here. Yes. Tesla open started to fall, broke, broke down. Tesla was going red in the correct direction of the option. So you have a big, nice, fat bar here. High of the bar, this is the first 15 minutes of the day was 284.50. This is a yes. $2 bar in the first 15 minutes. This wasn't earnings, it wasn't new. It was gapping down when the market, the charts week anyway. So it was a news gap from a couple days ago. So now you say, okay, let's see if this puppy can get going. You watch it, watch it, watch it. It continues to make new lows. You watch it, watch it, watch it. 10 o'clock reversal time, also you're watching the market. Okay, well the market isn't rallying. Tesla's still falling. Everything looks good. You watched it at 10 o'clock. It's still falling. Everything looks good. There's no hard and fast rule. Now you're like, okay, gosh, we're getting a little bit closer. We broke 280. Can we get further? You watch the trade. You, want, you don't have to watch the trade. And as you're watching the trade and it's not lifting at all, I mean, here's the 15-minute chart on Tesla for today. How many green bars are in the 15-minute chart of Tesla? There isn't one decent green bar in the 15-minute chart of Tesla until the low of the day at 1215. This was not hard to follow through. You will no. watch trades and you will follow through. And as it's coming down, you're up money. You this is yes. this is not an exact science. You must watch the chart move, just like we oh, do in I the did. day trade. I did. I watched it have momentum. Well, then, well, then, well, then that's what you do. That's what you do every time you do any one at all. You don't say uh, X Y Z amount. It's this is not an exact science. You Correct. follow it through. You look at the chart. Yes, you work the chart. What follow the chart. That's why I've been saying all along, money, the money is second to the chart, isn't it? The, the chart. No, the money is important, and I don't think you think it's important enough because sometimes you're up and you don't get out enough, and sometimes you do the opposite. And I, and I mean, it's really just, that is a serious, serious problem with you. And even if you start to be consistent with your money management, that is a problem that you must resolve. And it's a problem that I think it's, it's, it's ironic. It's ironic that it, this, you had the same issue as you were here as you do right now, and the amount of money had no difference. And that's why I know if you had a million dollars in your account, you would do the exact same thing. And the market's trying to teach you a lesson, and so am I. You will continue the exact same behavior that is toxic to your trading results until you fix it. If you tr if you took one share of every trade you took for everything, you would have the same problem as if you took a million. Until you fix this problem, it is toxic to your trading and it's all in your head. You've got to respect the money and you have to be normal about it and be grateful for every money that you make. You chose to lose in spot and screw up that trade rather than get out with 50 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever it was. That is the kind of thing that is toxic to your trading. You okay. did a good job with this. Let's leave it here. You did an amazing job with this. You screwed up the spot. The next one is the Q's. The next one is Walmart. This will not pull back. You're going to have a nice trade here. Now, if it goes down and drops down to 82 by Monday and you're not up 100%, if you're up 70%, if it looks like it's going to go, what are you going to do? I mean, these are all the things that you need to know when we're talking about if you're going to hold these trades, you need to know. Because this could go down to 82 and bounce there, but you'll be up. You'll be up. I don't know what you'll be up, but you'll be up. But again, yeah, if it... to look at the number of days that this is this has been going. So to understand. That has nothing to time, do with anything. It's time to that take has nothing to do with anything at all. And that's nothing that I taught you again. Something could drop. That is so ridiculous. And that is nothing that I taught you either. You are doing things that I didn't teach you. And in fact, you're convincing me that no one can be successful unless they do just what I do and nothing else. You're convincing me of that, although I never knew that before. But all this stuff that you're doing that is messing up all of my amazing gap calls is convincing me that you can't do what I do and anything else. Here is a perfect example. No, 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 no. This trade here, 
I called this a 100 million times last year. This never pulled back. This had a million red days. This could <laughs> the, the things can keep going. That's absolutely not true. It did. Wrong. It did pull back several days, didn't it? it goes in waves. The Elliott wave, impulsive. Correct. Oh my God! All right, I, I gotta go because you're go. talking about Elliott waves now. I'm even just gonna. I'm really. There you go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, I hope I helped you with something today, though. Seriously. Yes, you did. Thank you. You did great with Tesla. Right. Thank you. Are you going to the royal wedding tomorrow? I am certainly watching it. <laughs> you're not gonna go to the bars or whatever. All the people are celebrating and acting crazy. No, I'm not that. I'm not that near. So okay. It's going to be TV. All right. Well, have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Okay,